Okay, so technically um, my foot is healed and it's been healed for like a few months now, but like let's just pretend it like just healed and it's like a miracle. Oh my god, it's a miracle. guys, it's Dan and Aisha and uh, you're watching Pinpoint Wildlife. Today we're going to be talking about the top six reptiles in no specific order. Uh, three of mine, three of hers that we really want to get in the future. Um, we're not going to say that we're going to get in the near future or in the distant future because you never know where life may take you. That and we're not really rich right now so you know, we're working little by little to get what we want. So yeah, enjoy guys. A Salcata Taurus. Salcata Taurus. I don't care about how big they get. I just really love tortoises. Maintenance. So if you guys fine. if you guys don't know, Salcata tortoises live like they can live over a hundred years, so a lot of people who keep Sokata tortoises, they have to plan out the next person that's going to keep the tortoise, or maybe the next next person, depending. It lives like 120 years. Which would be our kids. I mean, you gotta like, force them to own your tortoise. Which would be our kids. I guess the reason why I've always really wanted a tortoise, not specifically Sokata, but I now want a Sokata. Um, just because I've always loved them for some reason, like, every time I would go to, like, the zoo or go, like, to the library and get books about animals, it was always about turtles or tortoises, and, I don't know, I just, I guess it's kind of like my spirit animal in a way, but they always kind of, like, be like, I don't know, I feel like they always understood me, and they're chill. My second choice would be a satanic leaf-tailed gecko, um, mainly because of their camouflage. It's pretty cool to kind of look like dragons. Um, honestly, there's not much more to say about that because it's kind of self-explanatory. If you look at them, you'd probably want one too, just because of how intricate their like camouflage is. How like even down to like their eyeballs, like everything's just super beautiful about them. So my third one would be a crocodile's king because I love how they look. They remind me of little tiny dragons. I just want to like cuddle with them. I know they wouldn't let me because they're shy and they would probably bite me, but that's fine. Um, you, I remember, guess, you remember the dragons from Harry Potter like, that he pulls out of the bag? Yeah. That's what those crocodile skinks look like. The Hungarian horn tail. <laughs> I think that it looks like Toothless from How to Trick Your Dragon. Just with red around the eyes. Or orange, whatever. But they're so freaking cute. And I love them. They're pretty cute. Yeah. So that's your top three? Mm -hmm. Another animal I personally want to get is the Green Tree Python. They're super cool looking. They're green and they have such bright coloration, which you only really see in venomous snakes. And because they're non-venomous, they get the, the wow factor of being this color, but they're not gonna like kill you. That's pretty cool. <laughs> but personally, I want uh, not a biak, um, I forgot the name of it, but one, one with um, more white on it, like a full white stripe down the back. I think that would look pretty cool. I feel like everyone's breeding for blue blue coloration or black coloration in those green tree pythons, but I think I would breed for white coloration. Or I'm not even talking about getting a breeding pair, I'm just saying like just getting one snake, having it with cool green and white coloration. And I, I think that would just be a super a super dope set in my terrariums. 
and then I could just like, that'd be definitely an eye catcher for everybody. So the next uh, reptile I really want is called the cat gecko, I believe. It's like brown and it's, it's got like a curled up tail. I always thought that was like super cute. And <laughs> I really want those. They're kind of hard to come by. I've only seen a few at any RBC. But yeah, that's kind of a not very mainstream gecko. It's, it's more, it's a more unique uh, species of gecko, but I really, really want to get that as a pet. And just for the video, because I like bringing to light uh, species that aren't really uh, worked with very often. So yeah, cat gecko sounds like a really fun uh, species to work with. Okay, and for my last reptile that I really, really want, is actually in the thumbnail of our NERBC trip. It was the big lychee gecko, about like the size of there to there, that's how big it was. And I thought it was just so cute and chubby. And we really, really want a lychee gecko. <laughs> no jumping on the camera, no. No. He wants to. He's like, yes, okay, what is it? Um, it just looks largest like gecko in the world. They're super dope, but they are a big dent in our, our bank accounts that we don't have right now. So we are probably going to get a lychee. We both want it. That's it. So guys, I hope you liked our top six list. I hope you liked every time I, up, I interrupted Aisha. Okay. So guys, I hope you liked our top six uh, reptiles we want in the future. I hope it was as entertaining as some of our actual adventure type videos. And let us know if you liked the video. Make sure to smash the buttons below and uh, subscribe. But